when grid fails. Now what? Welcome to Grid Down Guide. In a world where power can vanish in an instant, survival isn't just a skill, it's a necessity. We've got the know-how to keep you prepared. Whether you're in the heart of the city or lost in the wilderness, we teach you the essential skills to thrive. Stay tuned. The grid could fail tomorrow. Be ready today. What if I told you that the next rainstorm could be your secret source of clean, drinkable water? You can go completely off-grid. No pipes, no electricity, no expensive equipment. And still stay hydrated for weeks. Whether you dream of cabin life, are prepping for emergencies, or simply love self-reliance, this project is for you. Today, you'll learn how to build a simple DIY rainwater harvesting and filtration system, no matter if you live in an apartment, an RV, or deep in the woods. To start, let's talk about catching the rain. The key is surface area. The bigger the collection area, the more water you'll harvest. Install a gutter system on your roof and direct the downspout into a food-grade barrel, a clean tote, or any large container. Even a sloped tarp, when camping, can channel rain into a catchment. But here's a critical tip. Always install a first flush diverter, or just wait out the first 5 to 10 minutes of any rainfall. That initial runoff is likely to carry dust, pollen, bird droppings, and other debris. Skipping it means a cleaner start. Here's a little math. With a 10 by 10 foot roof, just 100 square feet, an inch of rain delivers 62 gallons. Imagine what's possible with a single afternoon storm. Once you've captured the rain, it's time to pre-filter the gunk. Before making the water safe to drink, remove leaves, twigs, insects, and whatever else Mother Nature hands you. A mesh screen lid is a simple, effective first defense to keep the big stuff out of your barrel. For an extra step, try a two-bucket system. Drill holes in the bottom of the top bucket and fill it with gravel and coarse sand. Place it over a clean collection bucket. This pre-filter stops clogs and keeps things flowing smoothly. But remember, it doesn't yet make the water drinkable. Now let's move on to the real star, the filtration system. With a few food-grade buckets, some activated charcoal, fine sand, and washed gravel, you can create a gravity-fed filter that mimics the natural cleansing power of the earth. Drill holes in the bottoms of your buckets. The top bucket holds activated charcoal, store-bought or homemade by burning hardwood like oak or maple in a sealed container to create your own. The middle bucket holds a layer of fine sand above a base of gravel. The bottom bucket catches the now-filtered water. Stack these buckets vertically. As rainwater trickles down, the charcoal absorbs toxins and chemicals, the sand removes tiny particles, and the gravel supports flow while trapping larger debris. Take your time, slower filtration means cleaner water. But before you drink, one last step remains. Purification. Even after thorough filtration, bacteria, viruses, and parasites could linger. Boil the water for at least one minute, three at higher altitudes, to kill pathogens. If you can't boil, Try solar UV treatment by leaving water in a clear plastic bottle under direct sunlight for six or more hours. Or use purification tablets with iodine or chlorine, following the instructions carefully. Now you've got clean, off-grid drinking water. Rainwater is an underappreciated survival resource, completely free and falling from the sky. Whether you're off-grid, prepping, camping, or building a weekend DIY project, this simple system gives you safe water without pipes, power, or ongoing costs. Use it at your cabin, store it for emergencies, or just feel the satisfaction of taking control of your own water supply. So next time the sky opens up, don't just watch from the window. Set out your barrels, build your filter, and start collecting the water you need to thrive off the grid. If you enjoyed learning these techniques, remember to like, subscribe, and share your own water harvesting tips in the comments. We love hearing from you. Until next time, stay prepared, stay hydrated, and keep exploring what's possible. Prepare now. Hands urgently pack emergency survival kit. Survive anything. Subscribe now. Grid Down Guide.